first things first if you are a CDL driver and you want to come work for JB Hunt, I encourage you to send me uh, your name, your phone number, and your, your zip code. My email is moses at driversuccess.com. I will give your information to Susan. Susan is the recruiter that I work with. She's so good at what she does. So I'll give her your information and she will call you and let you know what's available in your area now. Even if you are just new out of training, uh, JB Hunt has started a program, uh, it's starting a program where they are training new truck drivers. So even if you are just out of training, um, just send me your information. Now it depends on what location you are in. Susan will give you all the details, but whether you have experience or you don't have experience, if you want to come on with JB Hunt, uh, then I encourage you to send me your information and then Susan will give you a call and get you placed uh, uh, as soon as possible. So that right there is my parking spot. That is a new truck. My truck is not in my spot. I'm just starting my week, so I'm not sure if they're giving me a new truck or if they, uh, somebody just parked in my spot and I need to look for my truck. I just came from the office and no, it's not my truck. Uh, somebody just parked in my spot and so I'm gonna find my truck uh, They parked it somewhere else because it was in the shop for B service uh, I see I can see it. It has Looks like somebody else was using it. Somebody has all his stuff in here. Looks like They moved me out of this truck. I don't know if they just gave me a new truck and they gave out this truck to somebody else because this is not making sense to me. It turns out I have a brand new truck. So I decided to go back and check in because I'm like, man, this truck looks like somebody else owns it. So I decided to go in and check back because I'm like, probably they just gave me a new truck. And turns out I am right. JB just hooked me up with a brand new truck i'm no longer on 356944 ladies and gentlemen that is it 366290 welcome people let's see Ooh. still use the same key brand new people let's see how many miles we have on here smells new 1106 I have a feeling when I was off my sleep my sleep seat I used the uh, truck and so those are the 1000 something miles but look at that everything looks brand new man I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm excited. I love it. Let's go outside, the snow is falling. We have the technology that we need. Falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with the smile as quirky as mine. We're Even some of the uh, rap is still on, look at that. Holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand. If you get a new truck and you've been used to the old truck, there, there are some differences. Uh, you know, like the way the mirrors are, the way the seating is, the way the body is. There are some differences in that you have to be very careful and you have to get used to the new truck. Right now, the way this truck is, the way the mirrors are, the positions, uh, the blind spots and, uh, and the way the hood is, the way that even the seat itself, the way everything is, is a little different from the old truck. In that, right now, I need to get used to this new truck and know exactly where the mirrors are, uh, how the mirrors are, uh, like the, the truck itself. It's a different feel to it. There is a different feel to it. And so you have to get used to it. And I think I now kind of understand why uh, I see a lot of damage on the new trucks. You have to be very careful and get used to the new truck 
because it's a little different from the old truck that you've been driving. I don't know if you can see the rainbow. Uh, for those of you that are Christians, I don't know uh, how much you take the rainbow into consideration. But every time I see the rainbow, I'm reminded of, of the story of the uh, Noah and the Ark. Uh, where God said that he, he gave the rainbow as a sign uh, to show that he was never going to deal with the world and the earth the way he had dealt with it or the way he dealt with it during Noah's times. And so every time I see the rainbow, it's a reminder to me of the goodness and mercy of God. And I usually want to take the time to be thankful for his mercy, for him extending his mercy and his love towards us and forgiving us and not dealing with us as we deserve. And so that is a sign for me every time I see it to say thank you God for your love, thank you for your mercy, thank you for your forgiveness and to just pray that um, again to just pray for us as a people, as a nation as a, a generation that God forgive us. We are, I just use it as a way to repent and to ask for God's forgiveness, but also to be thankful for his mercy, his love and his grace in our lives. I never take the rainbow for granted. I never think of it just as a rainbow. I've learned to, to use it to appreciate God for his love and mercy and also to ask for forgiveness on behalf of our generation, nation. I may not know exactly uh, what it is, but I know that based on scripture, it is a sign that it's said that whenever we see it, we should, uh, it's a reminder that he will never deal with us uh, the way he dealt with people then. By performing all the Christmas songs that we love, get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love, and then why we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you gonna do i feel so blessed that i can be with you Cause god knows that i've been longing for you i just want to hold you close you know the stars are shining just for you let's take a walk and we can follow the moon until we reach a place we can stay maybe kiss a bit and dream away and in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas Let me just point out a few things um, that I've realized about this new truck uh, during my, my drive, you know, like from Hazlitt coming here. Number one, the seat is totally different. This The seat from my old truck was more comfortable than this seat this seat is kind of i don't know maybe because the truck is still new maybe as time goes on it will become better and my body will kind of uh, get used to it but it feels hard and stiff and it's so straight you can't um, move it back anymore like you can't recline it a little bit more it's so straight it feels so rigid there is something about the ergonomics of this seat that is not as good as the previous seat and i'm thinking it may be just because the truck is still new it needs you know like the more we sit in it the more it will get better the other thing that i've noticed about it about this truck um the hood the other truck like when you're looking at it uh, you are driving and looking at it you can kind of see where the hood ends 
this track the hood is kind of slanted that you don't necessarily see where the hood is you have to kind of be up to see where the hood is so this hood to me is like kind of like the truck is kind of uh, slanted the other hood was more like kind of flat and i think maybe uh they kind of uh increased the angle maybe for aerodynamics so that you know like there, there's kind of like the airflow can be uh smoother kind of to give to help it with uh, uh, fuel consumption that's what i'm thinking about but there is a difference in how the hood is my old truck when it comes to tilting the steering wheel they had you know like they, they, there was something you would press on with your feet and then you would tilt the steering wheel this one just has this and in my opinion the older one where you you know like you had uh, the the pedal you would step on and then tilt was better and the way even the steering wheel could tilt was more better it would adjust you know like up and down and then tilt like forward and up this one only tilts forward and down it doesn't go up and down so i prefer the other one to this one moment will fill with love and joy mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe baby with There are some new trucks where these side mirrors are different. I realize I like these ones because these are kind of closer to what uh, my old truck had. There are some newer trucks that I've driven. Where are these mirrors right here? I think um, the length from here, you know, like to the mirror, I think some of the trucks, it's a little wider in that it kind of throws you off when you are looking at the mirror. But this one, I think that's uh, uh, the, the it's in the right location. But I've driven some trucks where I think this mirror is kind of further away. And so it throws you off because you're expecting the mirror to be in a certain position. And then you realize it's kind of further away. And it kind of creates a little bit of, um, I don't know if I should call it... Um, blind spot or what somewhere around here i'm not sure if any of you guys uh, that have driven the newer trucks have experienced that but i know there are some trucks you know like uh, when my truck is in the shop that i've borrowed and they kind of throw me off because the mirror tends to it, it, it seemed to me like the mirror wasn't where it was supposed to be but i'm glad that this one the mirrors are kind of like where they are supposed to be so i just remembered that and i was glad that this one at least the mirrors are where they are supposed to be the other thing of course that i like about this truck but i need to get used to is the warning you know like uh, when you put on your turn signal and there is a vehicle even though you can tell from your mirrors that maybe you are waiting for that a uh, vehicle to pass but you are just letting people know that you are moving over as long as there is a vehicle this thing here is gonna shout at you and i think you just have to get used to it because You'll be like, why are you shouting at me? I'm not, I haven't yet, uh, you know, like made a lane change. I just want my intentions to be known. But as soon as you have your turn signal on, uh, with it, it doesn't know that you're not going to change. Uh, it thinks maybe you are, you are changing right away. So the warning uh, signal goes off. And if, if you're not used to it, like I wasn't used to it, you're like kind of, the first time it happens, you're kind of in shock trying to wonder, what have I done wrong? So that is something I like it, but I need to get used to it. The other thing is the radio sound, you know, like the sound in this truck. I would expect that in these newer trucks, really, the sound would be better. But in my opinion, I don't know why. It, it, it sounds like the older truck that I had, had, uh, you know, like the sound was better than this newer truck. So you would think that since this is a new truck, uh, you would expect the sound to be way better, but it's not really better. For those of you that want to know the date, this right here was manufactured in October 2021. So this is really a brand new truck, uh, just a few months old. The other thing that I found interesting while driving the truck yesterday is that when you put it in reverse, the it's going to mute the radio. So yesterday I had the radio on and 
I, I, I didn't realize it at first. Uh, you know, like every time I put it in reverse, the radio would stop working and I didn't know, you know, like I would think something is wrong with the radio. But after a couple of times, I realized, oh, it's just one of the functions, which I think is really uh, a cool function because uh, I think the whole idea is when you are backing up to make sure that, uh, you know, like the cab is quiet, you can be able to hear anything on the outside. I thought uh, it's a cool future. I didn't know about it. I just kind of found out as I was driving the truck. The energy you will are lighter nuclei that are radioactive. They dump. At least for a couple of centuries at least. The other difference is the location of the tanks. Right now, I'm going to get myself some fuel and death. In the old truck, you had both of them here. You had the, the fuel right here, and you had this right here. But right now, you only have the depth right here, and then for the fuel, you have it behind here. So they took it from here and brought it right back here. The other feature that I like that uh, the truck has is the lights right here so like in the old truck of course you had where you can put them off where you have your marker lights and you know like the parking lights on and where you have the full lights on right but this one now has this side where you can just put them automatically and so you never have to worry about touching the lights again just leave them in in, in this position that says automatic and whenever you know like it's dark uh, the lights just come on uh, whenever you, you you are getting out of that truck, they will just turn off by themselves. So you don't have ever have to worry, maybe like for getting your lights on. Because I've seen uh, there are times where I've had to help some truck drivers turn off their lights because they forgot them on. So this one has this feature where you just put it in automatic and you never have to worry about it. Personally, I don't usually use it. Uh, I'm not using it. I just like uh, having control over them. Uh, for uh, There's a reason why I like that. But uh, it has that functionality where you can put uh, the lights in automatic. The other difference is with this uh, Kingpin release, right? In the old truck, what, what I had was a knob that I would pull. Just like you pull out, uh, you know, like uh, when you're applying your brakes. In the old truck, there was a knob that you would pull to release your kingpin. Now, the difference is with this one, this one, of course, is a button. You just press it uh, for you to release the kingpin. But the other difference is in the old truck, even if you, your electrical cords were still connected, you will still be able to release the kingpin. In the newer truck, it will not let, it will not let you release the kingpin until your electrical cords are disconnected. If they are not connected, you are not releasing it. I mean, if they are connected, you are not releasing this kingpin. It won't let you. But if you uh, you disconnect them, then it will let you release the kingpin. I think that's an extra uh, kind of safety measure. So just to make sure that uh, you went outside, uh, you released the... Um, that you release the electrical cords for it to let you uh, release the kingpin. Yeah.